Hello students, let us continue the session on statistics. In class 10th, we have the concepts related to group of data. The first concept is related to mean of a group of data. The mean of a group of data can be found in three different ways. First method is direct method. Second method is deviation or assumed mean method. And the third method is called as a step deviation method. Let us understand each one of them. First, look at direct method. In this method, we use a midpoint which represents the whole class. It is called the class mark. It is the average of the upper limit and the lower limit. Class mark is given by upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. And the mean is represented as x bar which is equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. Let us understand the same concept with an example. A class teacher marks the test results of class of 55 students for mathematics. Find the mean of the given group. Here, all the class intervals are given with the respective frequency to solve using direct method I would like to represent the data in this tabulated form. I'll mention first the class marks of the students, which is the class interval. Let me write it here marks of students. Next, I'll mention frequency. Class intervals are 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and 50 to 60. We will read the frequencies. The frequencies are 27, 10, 7, 5, 4, 2. For finding the mean in direct method, we require midpoint or mid value. So I'll mention here midpoint. Zero plus ten upon two will be equal to five. Ten plus twenty upon two will be fifteen. So each time ten has been added, so it becomes twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, and fifty-five. So the sum of the frequencies we require the sum of the frequencies is sigma fx sorry sigma f this will be equal to 55 because they have mentioned that the class 55 students are there so on adding this also we get 55 now i will multiply the mid point with the frequency that is f multiplied to x f into x will be equal to 27 5 times is 135 10 into 15 is 150 7 into 25 is 175 35 into 5 is also 175 45 into 4 is 180, 
55 into 2 is 110. The sum of all the fx will be equal to 925. You need to add this, we get 925. So the mean is given by x bar, which is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f. Sigma fx is 925 divided by 55. This will be equal to 16.8. So the mean marks obtained is 16.8 marks. The second method to find the mean is assumed mean method or deviation method. In this method, we have to calculate the large number of values then we use this method to make our calculations easy. In the direct method, finding mean will become difficult. In this method, it will become easy. We have to choose one particular value of the variable as an assumed mean. Uh, let that be A, then we need to find the deviation which is the difference of the assumed mean and each of the values or observations. The rest of the method is as same as the direct method. We will understand it with an example and we use a formula like x bar is equal to assumed mean plus sigma fi di where di is the deviation fi is the frequencies so let us look at an example to understand the concept if we have the table of the expenditure of company's workers in household then what will be the mean of their expenses? The expenses are mentioned as class intervals and respective frequencies are given. So I will write in the table expenses. The expenses are 100 to 150, 150 to 200, 200 to 250, 250 to 300, 300 to 350, 350 to 400. Then the respective frequencies I'll mention. Frequency. Twenty four, forty, thirty three, twenty eight, thirty, twenty two. Now we have got all the frequencies and the expenses in terms of class interval. Now we shall find out the mid value. Mid value, I'll write it as x. For the first one, the mid value is 125. The next one is 175. Each time 50 has been added 225, 275, 325, 375. Now I will find out the deviation. Deviation is given by the observation minus the assumed mean here. Somewhere in the middle I have to consider the assumed mean. <coughs> For instance, I will consider the assumed mean to be 275. I will consider 275 as the assumed mean. 
so x minus 275 each observation we need to subtract to 75 the first one becomes minus 150 second one become minus 100 minus 50 0 positive 50 and 100 now i will find out product of frequency and the deviation here f into d minus 150 multiplied to frequency minus positive 24 will be negative 3 <coughs> 6 double zero next is minus 4000 next is minus 1650 next is 0 next is 1500 next is 2200 now I need sigma f into d. I need to add all this. We get it as negative 5550. So we use a formula x bar is equal to assume mean plus sigma f d divided by sigma f. Assume mean is 275 added to negative 5550 divided by sigma f is to be found here i need to add them to get sigma f it will be 180 so this becomes 275 minus 30.83 this will be equal to 244.17 so 244.17 is the mean expenditure of the company the third method is called as a step deviation method this will further reduce the complications we have done in the assumed mean method the same thing but we divide the values of the deviation by a number and then it becomes easier we use the formula x bar is equal to assume mean plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma i into h here ui is the deviation divided by a particular number to understand this let's take an example the wages of the workers are given in the table find mean by step deviation method the wages and the workers are number of workers are given let me consider a tabular forum let me mention the wages here the wages are 20 to 30, here there is a mistake, this should be 10 to 20, so I will change this, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. The number of workers is nothing but the frequencies 8, 9, 12, 11, 6. Let me find out sigma f here. Sigma f will be the sum is 46 let's find the mid value or the mid points let me write mid values will denote it by x is 15 25 35 45 55 now let us consider the assumed mean to be 
say 35 so we will find out the deviation which is x minus a here a is 35 so 15 minus 35 will be negative 20 negative 10 0 positive 10 positive 20 Now let us take the value of h to be some ten, and we get u as x minus a divided by h. This is the formula. So each time we need to divide by ten, we get minus two. This will be minus two, minus one, zero, one. So now we will find f into u. U is the values obtained after dividing by a dividing deviation by a constant number. So minus sixteen, minus nine, zero, positive eleven, positive twelve. Let us find out sigma f into u. This will be the sum. The sum is negative two year. So let us use the formula x bar is equal to a plus sigma f into u i f i u i divided by sigma f i into h. So this will be thirty five plus negative two by the sum forty six. Into hundred, sorry, into ten. This will become thirty-four point five seven. In the next session, we shall take up how to find mode and the median of a group of data, followed by graphical representation of cumulative frequency. in the next session thank you